Action. Hello, my name is Mark Skelton. I am the art director on Shadow of the Colossus, and welcome to Photo Mode. Uh, Photo Mode actually turned out to be quite the amazing little fun toy that everybody can play with. Um, there's so many things that you can do with this um, that it's just mind-boggling. It's like a whole photo suite, like inside of, of the game. And just about anything you can think of, uh, you can absolutely do. Um, kind of showing off here some of the, the camera abilities. Um, we've got like full roll, You've got like a FOV zoom, which is crazy. You can get like this cool fisheye lens. Um, yeah, you can like really do some interesting large read things. Um, and then you can also kind of zoom up on things too and, and get tight reads on things with it. Really cool, man. So onto the filters here. So we, we kind of went through and um, had some base filters that uh, we let you guys start with kind of a wide variety, tried to kind of encompass the full gambit of, of what somebody would want to conceivably start with. Um, we've got everything from kind of basic black and white stuff um, to very vibrant, um, saturated, um, different, you know, looks and feels. And then, you know, once you get something like, say, bold like this that, that, you, that you like, then you can kind of go down and even further adjust it. You can mess with the brightness and the contrast, um, blow something out or pull the contrast down to make it more gritty, you know. It's just, it's uh, an incredible amount of um, flexibility that you have with these filters. It's really cool. Um, some of the post effects stuff, again, that's, uh, you can even go further down, like digging down into things. Um, you can adjust saturation per um, filter. You can also dive down into like specific highlights, like say if you wanted the highlights more red, you know, you can pull the reds up or mid-tones down to shadows as well. Um, just to get a specific look that you're looking for, you know, um, anything that you can conceivably think of, uh, you could probably pull it off. Uh, this depth of field is really cool. You can make things look <laughs> like super tiny or you can make things look super far away um, by kind of blurring out the near and far range. Um, you can focus in on some things, focus your attention back to wander. So again, huge uh, flexibility in this. Um, I think people will have a, a blast playing with it. The vignetting is kind of cool. Um, that's kind of the dark edges around the side. You can kind of, again, get kind of a specific look that you're looking for. Uh, you can kind of focus in on a specific thing or just kind of get a, get a really interesting photographic look with the vignette. A lot of these filters too, we, we had thought about and thought it would be a good idea to actually let you play through the entire game um, with, with some of these filters, which I uh, thought was kind of unprecedented. Um, that's kind of interesting. It's like if you feel, uh, it, it's really weird too, because playing through the whole game with filters on kind of changes the whole vibe of the game uh, in places. So you can play like in this, you know, sepia tone type vibe and then switch it over to Vibrant and it, it becomes like a, a completely new thing. It's so crazy how, uh, how filters absolutely like change the whole vibe of something. Yeah, I can't wait until the, uh, the public get a hold of it. I, it's, so, it's so cool, like it, obviously the community will do things with it that we had never thought about, you know, and do cool things with it that, that you know, just look really awesome. So I can't wait for that to happen, it'll be cool. Station.